so far we have created two individual dice. But we can, once we create a data type, we can actually have a, um, arrays of them as well. So let's play with what it looks like to have an array of dice. I'm going to comment out all of these lines, just control forward slash and comment all those lines. Now I want to use the array container. So up here I'm going to pound include array, the array header. And then I can create an array. So uh, array and the type is going to be dice. And let's just make 12 of them. All right, so there's our array and we can call it my dice. And then we have an array of dice objects. So let's go ahead and loop through this array. And we want to go from the beginning to the end. So zero is the beginning and the end is my dice dot size. And we can simply we can access each individual element in the my dice array by doing my dice and then putting the i in here. His index will change each time through the loop. So just a standard way to go through it. <clears throat> and notice that when we do this on each individual element in the array, it comes up with the methods that are available, right? Each element in that array is of type dice, so it has access to all of these. So we'll just do the right dice, and let's go ahead and use the console output, and then see out an endl, and let's print these out. Ah, and what we get is we get 12 dice. Notice that they all have six sides and a value of two. Why is that happening? That's because it is calling the default constructor. And that's what we're seeing when we define an array, um, that we get an array of all, we get a new object is made for each element in the array. So there were 12 objects made at the time we declared that, ob that array. And all of those dice were called using the default constructor. So that's what happens when you have an array of type dice or another programmer defined data type. Now it is possible to go ahead and initialize them if you want. You can just use an initializer list. And so if you want to call the other constructor, you can just do dice, which is the name of the class, and send in a value. So we could put in seven and comma. We could do a dice with six, um, nine sides and a dice with four sides. So you can go ahead and initialize it however many you want. You can initialize all 12 if you want or not. So let's just do these four. Uh, let's do one that has 16 sides. All right, so there we've initialized four of them. And then let's run and see what happens then. So the ones that we started with an initial value, notice that it called with those uh, the sides that we specified, and it gave it a value of three because that's what we had in the non-default constructor. And then the ones that we didn't give an initial value for, they simply called the default constructor to create those dice. So now we have an array of dice, and we can access each individual element just like we did in the for loop. We can do, we just simply use the name of the array and an index, and then we can uh, we could call roll. Right, because that's one of the things that we can do. We can call uh, my dice three. We could call um, get number of sides or get value. So we could get number of sides and we could just like print that out. So anything that we can do with a regular object of type dice, we can do. Uh, with an element in an array, because that's exactly what's in the array. Each element is an object of type dice. So we can just do the same things with it. So pretty straightforward to use an array of objects. And there, number three, oh see, there we gave it the value of four. Is that what we said? 
Oh no, we just printed out the number of sides, 16. So it's just that 16 right there. We just did it, the number 16. Oh, it has four because we did roll. <laughs> That's why I got the value of four. So the roll worked gave it a value of four, and we printed out the number of sides, and that's 16. So working with arrays of dice, or whatever programmer-defined data type you have, is doable. Calls the default constructor unless you initialize it otherwise.